And today's topic is consistency. And in my opinion, it really is the key to success. Uh, I've said it many, many times that consistency is key. Uh, and why do I feel that being consistent really does bear fruit in what you are doing? I think people uh, lack the discipline uh, and also the drive to be consistent. And not really... Uh, separates the girls from the boys don't mean that in a harsh way as far as uh, gender is concerned what i mean by it is the ones that do succeed succeed and the ones that don't to be consistent in whatever you are doing really is hard work uh to turn up at the same time that you are deciding to do whatever you're doing and to bring something to the table in a manner that is useful and of value to people is a lot of hard work. I mean, if you are doing anything to do with YouTube, for instance, continually doing videos and bringing stuff to the table as far as YouTube is concerned is a lot of work. And to be consistent within that, you have to be very dedicated to the reasons of why you are doing it. And that is one of the main things that you need to keep hold of, to be consistent of what you are doing, you need to have that reason of why you are doing it in the first place. That is your reason and goal for what you are doing, whatever you're doing for. And this is what you need to really hold on to, to make sure that you dust yourself off if you've had a bad day, to go again uh, to deliver what you have promised to the people who are watching you, if it's on a YouTube or if you're doing a vlog or a blog, for instance, if you are a person who posts uh, those sort of things, then you have to do it on the regular basis that you have promised. Now, obviously, I understand that many, many, many people can't do the amount of videos that I do on a daily basis with my lives. I understand that and I really do appreciate that people have got other lives as far as what they do on a daily basis. I have the time to do it and this is why I have decided and I decided a long, long, long time ago that that is what I was going to do. I like nothing better to bring you information and to have a good look around at any changes so that I can bring it to you. Andrew Colhern, thank you so much, uh, my friend, for your super sticker. Very, very kind of you and much appreciated. So whatever it is, whether you do it on a weekly basis, let's take um, Julie Wang and Michael Williams. They only do one live a week on a Monday. They get very good views. Why? Colonel Daniel Lee, thank you so much for your super sticker. Why do they get good viewing figures? Because they do it at the same time every Monday. Jane and I do Monday fun day every day, every Monday, same time, same theme and all the rest of it. Do not get confused with consistency and change. Now, being consistent is turning up regularly, uh, doing this, doing the events or posts or whatever you are doing at the same time in a regular format. It becomes part of somebody's routine, part of their daily lives. And you are allowed to adjust, change, and even uh, be a new format within that consistency that you are doing. There is nothing wrong with adjusting and changing direction. Uh, that is a normal way uh, how you grow. You have to uh, grow, evolve, just change for yourself to become better versions of what you are doing. If you didn't do that, you wouldn't get any better at what you are doing. But being consistent with what you are doing really, for me, has always been the number one reason for success. It's not necessary that people expect to see you. Uh, at that time. But I think it's more 
shows your loyalty. It shows your, um, what's the other word I want to use for it? It shows that you are committed and determined uh, to deliver what you have promised. It certainly helps you be a more authoritative figure if you are more consistent with what you are doing. It certainly uh, gives you more uh, stature, I think, as well within what you are doing if you are consistent with it. I get people have bad days. I get people uh, uh, have wave effects as far as any business is concerned. But you really do have to dig deep sometimes and remind yourself of the reasons of why you are doing it. I, for me, am doing it because I know that it's going to benefit me within my on passive business. But more so, I do it because I hope that what I do is a benefit to you guys. I've said many times that the, the ramblings that I bring to the table when there's no news is to hopefully bring something of value that might uh, help anybody, one person, in a way that might make them think, yeah, okay, I'm going to try and do that. Uh, I'm certainly no guru. I'm certainly no motivator and whatever it is. I'm just an, an average guy who's actually learned quite a lot along the way. And all I'm doing is trying to uh, give you my knowledge of what I have learned so that you don't have to necessarily go through the trials, tribulations and pitfalls that I have done as well. Being consistent really is one of the easiest things to do because all you got to do is turn up when you say you're going to turn up and basically do what you said you're going to do. And you don't necessarily have to be good at it, but you have to be consistent at whatever you are doing. Yet there is, you only have to look at anybody um, for instance, a TV program, right? Many people get hooked on series on TV. But part of that is that they know what time it's on, what day it's on, and they make sure they watch it because of that consistency of the timeline it's in. People get used to the time that Marty and Chris are on and I'm on. And uh, like I said, Julian Michael and When Heroes is on and When O Tech Pros and uh, Digital Blueprint, which I'm on tonight, by the way. That's at uh, 2 p.m. Eastern, uh, 7 p.m. You know, all these things uh, are part of being consistent. And I am now I'm talking about YouTube now and I'm talking about what I know about. But there's certainly other areas that you can be very consistent in. Uh, and that is uh, if you're doing a vlog, doing a blog or even uh, commenting on posts, etc. That is all part of being consistent, being active within what you are doing. And that's what I wanted to bring to the table today is that consistency for me really is key to a successful business. For instance, I'm going to give you an example. If you are following up uh, via emails uh, to people within any business, it doesn't have to be on passive necessarily, but any business, and you've decided that every single person is going to get uh, four emails uh, that on a repeater basis or whatever it is, you need to be consistent with what you are doing. Because sometimes people say, well, I only got one or I only got two or whatever it may be. You need to be consistent with every single one. Now, don't get me wrong. Sometimes some things work and sometimes some things don't work, but you have to be consistent for a period of time to be able to make that decision. Because if it's all ad hoc, if it's not structured and all the rest of it, then it really is not going to uh, have the uh, desired effect that you want on the outcome of your business. And this is why, for me, 
you need to be consistent in what you are doing.